What's up guys, Sammy D here, and welcome back to Factorio episode 6 or 7, I can't remember, um, now, in the last episode I wasn't completely sure on what we would do today, and I, so I just did some research off camera, the first noticeable one is, if you look down at my hot bar, or quick bar, or whatever, I have a extra row, that was uh, the tool bar thing, but what I decided to do today was inspired by this thing here. Um, I said I wanted to automate bullets, and okay. And then I started getting attacked a lot, and so I built walls and put a second gun turret here, and I put some bullets in there. And because aliens keep coming down this way and attacking, I think luckily it's only on that spot. Um. So, it's fine, um, now also, you can see the iron mines over here ran dry, so I put these two here. <clears throat> Just about all the iron ran is run dry over here, um, but from what we did last episode with the mining, we have so much iron and copper. We have, let me see, about two steel chests completely full. As 4.8 thousand copper each. I think the same with cop or with iron. And I think the same with copper. Um, yeah. Plus, there's more in the other chests. Um, and I just expanded that because I needed to hold all the resources. Um, so, but today, in that, I decided um, we would be working towards laser turrets because they don't require bullets to run off complete energy. Um, but they require some materials. If I look at um, laser turrets, it requires five steel plates, five electronic circuits, three contraptions, and then three batteries. How do we craft batteries? Well, batteries are, um, require two sulfuric acid, one copper, and one iron. Like, okay, we have just about everything, except for the two sulfuric acid. Which is 5 sulfur and 10 water. Sulfur is 3 water and 3 petroleum gas. Petroleum gas is made from oil. Oh, there we go. There's some. So, we're going to get into chemical processing this episode. Um, and we're going to do this on the map. You can see this is pink area right here. Um, right over here I so we're gonna mine out oil there we should be able to get a lot of oil from there and we're gonna start um, we're just need to send power over that way we're gonna use one of these big ones um, just because they can how far they can transport why how far the wires can go without so that's really a really far distance covered by one um, so, yep, about there, so now I'm going to make a light, or a lamp, just because this is really dark over here, um, I also should expand this out, just because that can't, it doesn't have that big of a range, but this really does. <clears throat> So we're going to make one. We're going to want a uh, if I can find it. A I am with the mines. Yes, a pump jack. But that also requires steel. Um, so we're gonna craft up a lot of stuff we need back over there. <clears throat> you can see, you saw there's uh, a few walls, about nine of them. That's just marking out which one was the bad one. So I knew which one, was, or which one wasn't as good as the really good one, uh, because they're all in like 94% efficiency, 84% efficiency, or something like that. Um, so, so let's see. So we're going to need just one pump jack. Uh, we're going to want a chemical plant. We're going to craft a, gonna craft a few of those. Uh, we need some more iron. Um, 
the chemical plants are what we do, are like the auto crafting assembly tape areas or whatever. Um, Grab a bunch of iron and a bunch of copper. Okay, so we're gonna want ten stone bricks. Those are actually back over there. I also set up a stone mine and leading into furnaces just to smart up some stone. Uh, there, that one there. Got a lot of stone bricks, I gotta say. Um, just one of those for right now. Um, we're going to, to want a, um, offshore pump. Um, because we do need some water for this. We're gonna, I'm gonna make three storage tanks. Um, make a bunch of those. Bunch of pumps. Or pipes. Let's take out what we're not going to need uh, for this. Uh, we're just gonna remove all the burner stuff. I don't. I'm not gonna use. Or I might. I'm not. I'm not gonna use those for this. <clears throat> not gonna need radars. Um. Not gonna need electric mines and burner mine grid. This is gonna take a minute, uh, so we're gonna just gonna start up by placing down the pump shack. <clears throat> so the pump jack goes right over this. Uh, we're going to turn this and send it that way, <clears throat> and. Let's see here. Um, there. Now this is mining, pumping out oil. Uh, pipes are being made. Um, here. Oh wait, no. That we'll go in a minute later. Uh. This is good, so, let me pick up that, uh, so, we're going to put that right there, and now we'll put down this, there, well, now what's happening is the oil is being pumped, pumped in here uh, should um, so we're gonna want petroleum gas hang on you see here um was there oil refinery you know we want the oil refinery um there so and this is gonna produce that. So this is making all these basic things, and now we're going. To, I'm gonna put down. Uh, so let's take some pumps, pipes, and I'm gonna put one of these. That one there. So now this is filling up with that. Um, I believe this is base. Okay, I'm not, I think that's heavy oil, light oil, petroleum gas. So now we're going to grab the pipes and this one. Actually, hang on. Pick up this for a minute. I don't. I want to put this. These as close together as possible. Hey. Right. 
Put in the pipes. And... There. So they're all filling up with what they're, they need to make. What, or what this, the oil refinery is making. Um, now, let's, we can get on to the crafting. So, we need batteries. So, a battery requires two sulfuric acid. So, the sulfuric acid is made from petroleum, gas, and water. So this one stores petroleum gas, yes. Uh, so, we're going to put down a... Put this down more over here. And, uh, let's see. And a little closer, I think. There you go. Um, where's that lamp? I'm gonna make another one. <clears throat> Ain't dark. Okay, right, so this is going to make this. So now we're just going to run some pipes. There, and we have should be getting okay. Well, that also is bringing some water. Um, let's see, um, I want to put in the pump here, and for this long distance, we're going to use these pump to ground ones because it's a lot more efficient to keep the pipe underground oh I see it requires it in a different location This is why we're using these, because we can bring it right under there. Okay, so that is filling up with that. Um, let's make some more pipes. <clears throat> So now we're making up the sulfuric acid. <clears throat> now... Can we... Okay, so we picked this out. Okay. So we're going to want to make bring out bring in a another chemical plant put that there and we're going to select this to make batteries oh wait hang on so Okay, now we need another, um, uh, we need another one of these, and, <clears throat> so, where we make the sulfuric acid in another one of those. Okay, so we're gonna put this over there, and... Uh, we're gonna want this to make sulfuric acid. So, uh, hang on. Put that there. And we'll take this pipe. There. 
that's got all the water it needs. Now, we'll craft up a, um, put in some sulfur. We're gonna want a, I'm just gonna use a normal one. So, let's get some conveyors. Hey, now we need to bring in some iron, and we're gonna have we're gonna have to tap into this system up here. Uh, we're all, we're just gonna use normal bear ropes. Uh, craft a few of those. Craft a bunch of those, and we'll, we'll tap into this one right here. Um. Second one, so that bring that as far as we can bring this down. We'll put it onto normal conveyor belt. Okay. So, let's see here, um, Okay, and then we're gonna use the fast sensor because that's what we have right now. Uh, <clears throat> no, connect this up over here. Bring in iron, and now we just need to hook up power here. And this, once the iron gets over here, it will have everything it needs to start making sulfuric acid. Luckily, the iron is getting very close. Uh, now, something I just want to do real quick is I'm just going to stand over here on this island, or peninsula, or whatever. And I'm, now I'm just going to zoom out all the way because I find this interesting to do. You can just almost see the entire factory you've made and we can work pretty much and it's just interesting to see where everything runs to like in a way like this um but now the iron shell is there so go back down over there so now that's made some sulfuric acid so let's look we need uh one one more of more bees. Uh, one more chemical plant. So we need iron and copper. <clears throat> Voice crap there. Oh. I, I didn't. I just woke up. Not. I didn't. I just woke up not that long ago. That's why. Uh, but this is such a fun game. It's hard to resist. Resist it. It's like. Um. Yeah. So this is almost done. Oh, also one thing I researched is lab efficiency one, th so things won't take as long to research. Um. So this is almost done. This is going to be making. Uh. Oh, why, why, why don't we just put this right here? Just making uh, bat batteries. So that goes right in very quickly. So now we need some iron. Uh, we actually don't need that one there. 
and take some conveyors. Actually, I think right there would do. Now we just need copper, and that for that we're also going to need a lot more of those. We're actually not going to need as many uh, underground ones. So we'll pull from the second one. It looks like it's right in line, so it's to have to go under something, and this gonna make some more transport belts real quick so I'm just going to run it under there those are almost done where is this okay um One more. And let's grab um, one more of these and put it um, right there. Put the copper on. Now the copper has to transport way down, uh, way down here. But we're ne there, we're nearing batteries. Um, with batteries, though, we can make a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see. Well, now that we have this, I might. I think I'll set up maybe plastic production off camera. Plastic uses, I think. I think it actually uses that. It's fine. Uh. Now let's see, what does plastic require? You know what, I don't think I've researched plastic. Oh, I have. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Um, I forgot to change the texture. Plastic bar, yeah, requires petroleum, gas, and coal. What? Um, solid fuel. Okay, that's heavy oil and light oil. That dripping sound is the oil things. Um, I forget exactly what uses what. Okay. So now we should have batteries. Yes. So now we can make up these laser defense turrets. Um, so I'm gonna let that go for the time being while I go up and I'm going to grab, um, actually I think, scrap some more iron, or deposit this copper, um, just that much. Iron, we can craft that. Um, but I'm gonna need some more batteries. I want at least two for the time being. And I'm also gonna craft up some walls. And we're gonna stop those aliens before they even get close. Um, no, I'll do that off camera. Um, but we're gonna try to stop those aliens before they even get close to our base. Let's just wait for 12. Now, I think in the next episode, 
we're going to wait one more episode before we get into railways. We're going to get into some energy efficiency with solar panels. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we, I think we'll also get into uh, these modules. They're pretty good. Um, Okay, I can fix that. Even better, actually. There we go. So now, we have the four laser turrets. Now I thought laser turrets looked different, but that just might be because of the update. Uh, we're gonna go around, we're gonna go inside there instead of operating from outside the wall, so we're safe. Um, ooh dear, the coal just ran dry, okay, um... We're gonna have to work around that, I'll work around that off camera. Um... That was going to be was coming. I knew it was coming. I just didn't think it be so soon. Um. So wait, where are the laser? There and there. Okay, so yeah, the iron just ran dry. A lot of things are running dry. Um. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, um, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, luckily I did prepare in case the coal did run dry. Um, and that was with this. Uh, I actually had forgotten about that. Um, for a minute, it's just a big chest full of coal. And this should be enough to keep uh, me running until I can uh, pick up some lines to some more coal, which there's actually some right there, even bigger than the first vein we hit. So, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode, though. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section below. If you would rate the video, I would greatly appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, see you guys then. Goodbye.